Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Tisha Design Tutorial. So today I am going to make a different kind of design. So this is the design I will be making. And for making a design like that, first of all is we need a USA flag. But there are some difficult process of this design because of this kind of elements here you can see. So this will be a little hard to make. So first step is you will need a USA flag now you can make one or you can use on I shared here so you can come to my group here this is the best t-shirt designs group and here in this announcement post you, you will find this doc file so this doc file was created for all the resources that I share with you guys so you have to the, you can download them from here so this is a link where it is called vector so in this folder it will bring you to here in this drive folder and here you will find all the vectors that i have ever shared with you in my group for my different tutorials so you will find them here now you can see this is a us a flag i shared maybe one year or two years ago so let's just use this one so that you can easily download it and you can easily use it so the link you will find will be in my video description of the group so this is the usa flag i will be using now let's bring it here so this is a flag from shutter stock you can just simply take any one and image trace because this is not something copyrighted so the reason i am going to use this one is this is really distress and you can see this area this is really distress and the effect we want that will be really hard to make for this kind of designs now first of all this is a first responder design like the people are working like nurse, doctor, EMS or dispatch firefighter. So this is a design for them. Now let me show you how we can make that. So let's say I want to make that exactly same design. Sorry. <laughs> F-I-R-E. Firefighter. So this is one text. I am going to copy this multiple times nurse military doctor and others are really good ems is really a little bit hard here so this is the emergency medical service that's the short for ems so let's say we will use this exact design with this text so first step the flag is distressed so we can use a distress looking font here just to combine with the theme of our flag so maybe i will just use my explorer font so explorer has a distress version you can see this is called the print or you can search like print font so this is the style of print font you will find different kinds of print font and for this explorer font you can easily use our this link here you will find a link for fonts here so not sure where that is so okay so this is the font link basically that will be inside this group here you will find some folders here so like some mockups okay so maybe you will need to click here on this link this is a different link for fonts so these are all the fonts you will find here and the explorer is inside here every version of explorer you will find it here anyway so that's not the point so this is my text i will be using them and for this kind of design i am going to use the text like in this way so they are making in this way but i will use in this way so that this will be easier for me so let's say i want to keep this fire for fighter there but before doing that let's make it a little bit smaller so that it fits with the wide of our this design here this wide of this flag here so maybe this much is good then i will select this one and then i will take my eyedropper and click here that will pick the size of this font so let's say for firefighter i will use this orange color that fiery orange color so this is the firefighter one now for making a design like this this is really easy they are just combining it with them with the flag so we can simply do that and for doing that i'm going to first of all break this and then i will just okay so here i'm just going to copy this one 
then I will select this flag. Now this is just a simple way to do this. I am going to make it black. And then here I am just going to take my pencil tool to draw a shape like this. And as you can see this is going to combine with the shape of my graphic here. So this is how it is going to look. Then I can change this to black. And then the problem will be is you can see the F is matching with the flag that is fine. But this R is not really readable very much but it can stay like that so this is a really simple way to place your text inside the shape but if you want to colorize it so you will need to first of all select this text make it this color then you will need to select this one and then you have to select it all the way like this then change it to this color that same color so this is how you can easily make this kind of text now this is really easy the police one the military one so military one i will be making a little bit like this so let's say i will break it then i am going to select this firefighter text and then i will place it in the center so these two should be in the center now for this one i am going to make it in this way sorry maybe i will make it this way like here in this area so that i can place the other text here and then i will need to fix this one whatever i placed here something like this okay let's just remove it from here i am going to just draw a shape like this I am showing you the hard way first then I will show you the easiest way okay so this is the F of the fire okay so this should not be here just like this okay so this part is done firefighter then for the military one here we need to apply some camo this is called the camouflage so you can simply search on free pick for camos you can search like camo you can search like camouflage so these are all the camouflage you will get here and there are some free there are some paid ones just don't worry you can use anyone you like if it is free so you can easily download that so let's say i'm going to use this one so this is a free one i'm going to download this one this is kind of our country <laughs> military pattern so that's why i liked it but you can use any one you like also you can change the color you can modify the pattern so i am showing you the process of downloading and everything else so that you can easily follow with me so let's remove that so if i select this one you can see this is just a background this is the original pattern here and this is basically blank so you can see you will see the shades through it so that's why i need to first of all select these two together then make it a group that will work as a as on file and then i am going to place it here now there is an easy way to change the color if you want to change it just go to this recolor artwork option here then click on this edit then for easy change you can simply click on this option here link harmonic colors and then try to change it so it will change like this you can just make it any maybe i will use it something like a yellowish kind of camo but if you want to do it one by one you can simply click here again to un unlink it then you can change everything here like you can change each and every color one by one something like this so this one looks good to me let's click ok so this is my camo here this is the camouflage here now i can simply make a pattern with it or i can simply use this one as it is so let's say i'm going to use it as it is for now if i place it here let me see if it is matching with the pattern but it is not matching you can see this is not going to match so i'm going to delete that now selecting this one go to object pattern and then make and this is how it is looking okay so we need to adjust the size of the pattern adjust the position of the pattern 
okay so this is not a very good example of a pattern because this is not going to match but we can try to match it okay so not sure where it is going to match maybe it will not match anywhere so this is not a good example of pattern because if it was then it would match something like okay let me show you so here is another pattern this is also from free pick and this one is also free you can download it from there from free pick and this is a good example of pattern and the reason i am saying that let me show you if this is the pattern or this is the design here you get you have to go to object then pattern then make then it will make a seamless pattern you can see this is this is how it is matching with the other part of the graphic and you can see this is there can be show some gap area like this but that's not really a problem so you can see this is perfectly matching and this is making the original pattern here so this is a good example so let's click done and now once you are you have this pattern here i am going to just select this one then i need to okay i need to maintain the center position something like this this is going to work for me now for here for this one here i am going to select this one i'm going to double click then i'm going to change the color here so that i can see now for applying a pattern we must select this two and then okay so let's cut it then i'm going to select this one here so if it is not selecting everything just make sure that it is selecting just like this then press ctrl f here that will place my text on top of it then select everything here again then click on this pattern it is going to apply that pattern to your this text now here you can see we cannot see the text so first step is we need to select this object here then we can use transparency then here i am going to take my take my rectangle tool with black fill then i am going to hide this part so this is how it is going to be and that is fine let's make this part also so i'm going to create a random shape here then i will take my pencil tool sorry pen tool to create a precise shape like this then i have two shapes here one is this one that i just created with pen tool and another one is this big one i just created so i'm going to delete this big one so this is going to just keep it like this so you can see this is how we can apply that effect to our text so this is this was easy and then another one is going to be this nurse and then this ems one because this doctor and dispatch you can just make it like this firefighter one that will be really easy so first step is we need to okay so there is one more problem and which is this file here you can see they are only using the stars but in our flag we are not using stars we are using a block shape where the stars are basically transparent or empty so we need to we will need to fix that and for fixing that we are going to select this one then i am going to take my eraser tool then press alt in your keyboard then just erase it like this i want to create a separation line here okay so maybe that's too much let's do it one more time so i'm going to just make it a little bit smaller just like this and that is going to work for us so that is fine now for this one here i'm going to use this nurse here and then ems here this is how i will make it now for this one here comes the hard part i'm going to break the font then i'm going to select this firefighter text then click on this firefighter text again and that will become the key object now align it with the center with the top position so everything here will remain on the same area like this <coughs> so that is good and then maybe i can just make it like this in this position that will look better i think then also i will need to change the element i placed here just like this nothing to worry about and then for this one this military one i am going to select this military text i am going to cut it 
then I'm going to place it here and then I will just select these two align at the top and then if I select this one I need to select this part then inside that whatever I placed I need to just adjust it just like this nothing to worry about so we can easily fix that now here is the hardest part this is looking good that's fine for the nurse one he, they are using a shape like this that means they are using a white background and then on top of that white background there is a red line here so how to make that we cannot just place a red line there like making this okay so let me show you guys if we put a black background then here i'm going to select the black of it then make it white like this so that we can see now we cannot just make it white and then place a red background because there are some you can see some distress areas here so for fixing that or making that effect here we will need to use the clipping mask but in a different way so first of all i am selecting this one double click to isolate the layer here then i am going to sorry i am going to double click here to isolate this layer then i am going to select everything from here only this part so if i change the color it will be easy to see you can see i am selecting this the blue part now i need to cut it now once i have that in my clipboard i am going to place it here and then i am going to make it a group so that i don't lose its position that is fine so here i am going to select this one and then this one i need to select this two and then for this area here i need to erase the rest of it so i am selecting the blue part of my this graphic and then I am going to erase it just like this. Don't worry, this is going to be okay. And this is really an important tutorial. So I am not just making it for fun. <laughs> I was having trouble making this design. So if I select this one and this one now, I am going to unite them. So uniting them will make them one single graphic as you can see now i need to apply that kind of look to it so for doing that first step is i am going to select this whole thing then go to object then compound path then make so this will become a compound path and once it is a compound path i am going to create a shape like this i am going to make it white then i will take a i will create another rectangle which will be red and something like this then I am going to select this one and then I am going to center it. So once it is in the center position, I am going to place it something like here. Maybe I will make it a little smaller and bigger. So this is good. Now I am going to cut it and then select this shape. Press Ctrl B. So Ctrl B will place our this two shape in the background. So I am going to select these two red and white making them a group. Then if I select this nurse text with this distress shape and then okay so first of all select this nurse text and then this group once these are all selected right click and make clipping mask and it is going to show you this warning but don't worry click yes and you can see this is how we can make that cool looking text if text effect so it will be same for the ems text here i'm just going to break it so that we can just align it with the center position here and then i'm going to just make it kind of here in the center and then same thing we need to select this one here then from this i'm going to select all of it i'm going to make it a group then cut it then i'm going to press ctrl f here okay so i'm going to select this one bring that on top and then selecting this white part i'm going to erase the extra part here with my eraser tool just make sure i am staying inside the solid part of the s or any shape you are working with so this is how it is going to look and that's fine so now 
pressing alt to create that rectangle and then i'm going to select these two i'm going to unite them and this is how it is going to look so it is going to be the same but the color theme will change so let's if i select if i double click here or just click here it is going to give me this option click on this option here edit content and that will select the inside content now control c to copy i'm going to paste it here then i need to change the color theme here this one is going to be dark blue and this one is going to be white so that is the okay so this red one is going to be white and then this one is going to be this dark blue so that is the ems color okay so maybe it is looking a bit different but don't worry we can simply just pick the color from here just to make sure it is the same color or kind of similar color and then i'm going to select this center one make it white so that is the ems color i'm going to place it in this area but cut it then select this group and press ctrl b now make sure that this is in the center so i'm going to click on this ems text and then align it in the center position this is how it is looking just selecting this one object make compound path and then again select this one right click make clipping mask so this is how it is going to look for us then we have one more let's make it okay so military is good police is also good so police i'm going to make it like this I'm going to place it here. Just to make sure it is a different color. Okay, so something like this is going to work for us. I'm going to select everything from here. I'm just making this same thing again and again so that you can understand it clearly what is going on. So I'm bringing that on top just right click arrange bring to front that will bring it in the front so this is fine now for police i am going to use white color but i will use a blue line through it so that is how to represent the police or you can correct me if i am wrong so let's just erase this part from here okay and that is fine let's just erase it and then everything is going to be white just like this so sometimes it can happen that as you can see the e here is basically not looking very good so for this particular one i am going to just make it like this so this is going to be a little bit hard here i'm going to make it i'm going to make it touching the text but the e will be visible so i'm going to select this two i'm going to make it unite here and that's fine and then i'm just going to select this one go to object make a compound path and then make that is fine then i'm going to create a blue line here just like this i am going to make sure that it is in the center position so that is like it is looking like this now for this one if i just place it like this it is going to work but in this one if i select this one that is already a compound path i need to keep a copy of that so i am going to con press ctrl c for keeping a copy now i need this to be on the front so i'm going to bring that front then i'm going to select this one and once i have it like this i'm going to right click and make clipping mask so the problem will be as you can see this is working perfectly fine but the white part is gone because i uh, make the clipping mask with this blue line so for fixing that i'm going to double click here where i can select this blue line and once the blue line is selected i'm going to press ctrl b here I have copied that shape so that's why ctrl b is going to place that original white shape in the background so you can see this is how it is looking so maybe for making it a little bit 
coal i am going to select this part i am going to make a little space here so that is how you can make it look like a coal looking first responder t-shirt design and this was just to show you this kind of tricks to you can do with clipping mask and compound path so that's all for today's video guys i hope this was helpful if you are learning let me know in the comment section thank you for watching my videos see you in the next video guys have a great time